We start tonight on our homeless crisis. Now is your chance to share your thoughts on homeless encampments in Sacramento. The Sacramento County District Attorney's Office put out a new questionnaire. ABC 10's Alicia Machado joins us live from downtown after talking with a district attorney. Alicia, tell us what the survey means and what they hope to achieve. Sacramento County District Attorney Tin Ho says he's opened an investigation to see if the city has violated the law. They are in the process of collecting evidence and says that the survey is just one step in that process. Michelle Porter is worried every morning when she returns to her downtown Sacramento business. I never know what I'm going to find. Um, they vandalize, they use um, every area to go to the restroom. More and more people are living on our streets. Porter owns G. Rossi Florist on J Street, and she's seen the changes in the area over the years. I have to lock my doors um, quite often because someone's come in that makes us feel very uncomfortable. I don't know what the answer is, but the politicians get paid to solve these problems, and it is not getting better. It's a topic at the front of many Sacramento residents' minds, and County District Attorney Tin Ho is now asking for community input about homeless encampments in Sacramento with a questionnaire. Things have gotten worse, and enough is enough. Whatever we've been doing is not working. The latest move follows Ho sending a letter asking a council member for help. He described 86 incidents of public safety problems around the courthouse and DA's office in the past year. We had a court reporter that was assaulted at Cesar Chavez Park during the farmer's market. I had an employee that was threatened. The DA says he's hoping to avoid litigation, but he wants to see action. Short term, I'm asking that the city council and the city, what they do is create some safe locations where people can go camp and that services can be focused, they can be efficiently provided in those centralized locations where the laws are enforced. We reached out to the city about the questionnaire and community concerns. In a statement, a spokesperson for the city said in part, we are bringing to bear all available resources to help resolve the hardships faced by unsheltered individuals while working to protect the health and safety of our communities. Adding that the city and county are deploying outreach teams connecting people to resources. Now, the spokesperson says the city council is expected to review its protocols around this issue in the coming weeks. Laura? Yeah, and people can take that survey right now online. We'll have a link to it on our website, abc10.com. Alicia Machado, thank you.